Hey guys, what's up? My name is Zach King from the Final Cut King YouTube channel. My website's FinalCutKing.com. And on behalf of Tube Tape, I'm going to be going, appropriately enough, over a topic called Chroma Key, also known as green screening. And so we're going to jump into Final Cut 10 here and get started. You can download the footage to follow along. The link is in the description and you can have fun with that and just um, go with me here. So if you're ready to jump in, I'm ready. Let's have some fun. I just have a Tube Tape cloth draped over the background. I've got some creases in the cloth you can see and also just one light on there. Nothing super fancy but this is all to show you that Final Cut 10 is pretty powerful when it comes to chroma key and it's very simple. So let's get started by dragging this down to the storyline and we're going to begin keying. Now you need to come over here to your filters tab and we have a folder called keying. We're going to drag this key right on top of our clip and you can see it did some initial pass keying but we need to select our layer this is where all our video parameters for the keyer are held now we have two refine key buttons that we can use we have edges and sample color you can select which one you want to use and we're first going to use sample color and this just picks the areas that haven't been keyed out yet so you can do multiple sample colors here I'm going to hit areas that don't seem to be keying very well. You also need to keep in mind that these need to be areas where your actors don't cross in front of. Just keep that tip. So I've got four areas. If you don't want one, you can just select it and delete it. And it turns out I didn't even need that one up there because this, this one took care of it. We're doing pretty good so far. We've got our modes here. We have three. Right now we're on composite. We can also have a mat we can work from. This is really good if you want to zoom in and you want to refine these edges and then we have the original to zoom in you just hit Z to get back out shift Z is a fit to window let's go back to our select tool so let's go to our mat and let me show you something all this black is going to be the area where we put our background so for example I'm going to go to a texture here let's just drag in a curtain underneath if we go to the composite, it'll show the curtain behind there. Well, it works so far, but I only have the green screen around this area. The rest of the room needs to be cut out. So we're going to use a mat. Just delete that texture right now. So you're going to come back to your filters, to King, same folder, and drag this mask onto the video layer as well. Now the mat has these four points we can adjust. And it's as simple as dropping and dragging. I told you that was pretty easy. So now that we've got it all keyed out, again, make sure your actor, in this case me, I don't cross one of these lines. If one of these crosses me or my hand goes out of frame and goes through the line, that is going to be a problem. So right now it's hard to judge what we need to finish for the composite. Right now the edges might be a little choppy, but we're going to have to put our background that we're going to be using in first before we know that. So let me explain what I did for this shot. The footage you downloaded has me on a green screen, but it actually is the same background that I'm using as the background plate. Background plate is just a fancy term for saying what goes in the background of my shot here. So I'm going to drop that down. Now the reason I did this is so I can put text behind me or graphics without me having to mask out myself frame by frame. So you saw me put that texture in there before, so if I want I could put some sort of text behind me. So what you have to love about green screen is you can do a lot in post. You click this button here and this is a transform. So I can move my position. I can scale myself up. Um, I can center myself. Put myself off to the side. There's so many options with green screen. Let's go off and let's do a background and we can put me underwater. So that's how you do green screen in Final Cut 10. If you need green screen material like the sheet I used, that's from tubetape.com. And if you want to ask me any more specific questions, head on over to finalcutking.com or my Facebook page, Facebook slash The Final Cut King. So I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.